This is Mr. Beck does your homework, AP Physics, homework 5.1, question number 4. A car and a driver weighing 5270 newtons passes a sign stating bridge out 32.9 meters ahead. She slams on the brakes and the car decelerates at a constant rate of 10.4 meters per second squared. So my acceleration is negative 10.4 meters per second squared. My distance I'm going to travel is 32.9 meters. The acceleration of gravity is 9.8. What is the magnitude of the work done stopping the car if the car just stops in time to avoid driving into the water? The weight of the car, I don't want to write W because then you might think it's work. The weight of the car is 5270 newtons. That's also the force of gravity on the car. So now, how do I figure out how much work is done stopping the car? Well, my work is going to be my force times my distance. My work is also going to be my change in energy. Um, but I don't know my velocity, and I don't know, so I couldn't do 1 half mv squared. But I do my know my acceleration. So my work is my force times my distance. This isn't the force of newtons of gravity. This is the force acting on the car opposite. So here's my car. Gravity points this way. It's not going to do any work. Instead, it's going to be the force of friction on the tires. It's going to be the, this force that is actually stopping the car. So that force is going to be the net force. And the net force is the mass times the acceleration. Oh, look, I know the acceleration. So that net force is what I'm looking for. Sorry, um, what I'm looking for is the work done. But that net force is mass times acceleration. And I know the acceleration. How do I get the mass from the weight? Well. Uh, my weight is my force of gravity is going to be my mass times the acceleration of gravity. So if I know that and I want to get my mass, my mass is going to be the force of gravity divided by the acceleration of gravity. So that's going to be for me 5270 divided by uh, 9.8. So that's going to be my mass of the car. So now my weight is my force times distance. My force is mass times acceleration, so not my weight, my work. So my work is going to be my force, which is my mass, times my acceleration, times my distance. So my work is going to be my mass of 5270 over 9.8, times my acceleration of negative 10.4, times my distance, which is 32.9 meters. When I do all that, I will get some amount of work done, and that will be in joules. And that's going to be negative, but this says what is the magnitude, so i got to make sure I enter that as a positive number.